Hello, in this video, I'd like to introduce you to EFM's new agent deployer functionality, which is available from EFM version 1.6. Before this feature, downloading and properly set up WinIFI agent were cumbersome and could be time consuming. With this new agent deployer, EFM can point you to a Firebase agent repository, and by using it, EFM can generate a one-liner deployer command, which can be executed on the agent's machine. Let me show you how it works. First, we need to select an existing or create a new agent class. If you want to use an existing agent class like this, make sure that all the agents within this agent class will have the same agent type and agent version. Only administrators can create new agent classes, but class level operators can also generate a single use command. I will create a new agent class. To use this new deployer feature, we need to click on Actions Deploy Agent Command. Here you can see two important messages. This one shows up because we are on a secure environment and auto configure security is turned on. It's turned on by default. In this case, all the security configuration done by EFM automatically. EFM acts as a certificate authority, the security configuration and signed certificate. You can see the certificate details here. The second message is about the agent binaries. EFM has to know where to find the agent binary files. For, it, for this, it needs an agent repository. The repository's location, which you can see here, is configured with an EFM property. The convention of the repository directory structure can be seen here. Here you can select the desired agent type, operating system, and agent version. You can see the deployer script here, which needs to be executed on the agent's machine. You can copy it by clicking on this icon. I will execute it on my Mac machine. Now the agent is downloading the agent binary. Behind the scenes, this script downloads an installation script, the agent binary, and the security configuration generated by EFM. The agent will be deployed into the folder where the user executed the command from. The deployment script uses a one-time security token, so it can be executed only once. So the deployment of the new agent has finished successfully. Now we check that the new agent is heartbeating properly. You can see there is a new agent within this new agent class. Now we can check the agent details on the agent manager page. We can see the agent type, operating system, and agent version here. Now I would like to show you an agent deployment on a Linux environment. What you can see here in this drop-down list is determined by the content of an agent repository. I will show you how it looks like on a file system. You need to add the binaries within this folder. This can be configured by an EFM property. You can add many binaries as you can see. So the elements of this drop-down list are determined by the content of the agent's repository. 
To be able to use this agent deployer feature, you will need to add at least one agent binary to the agent deployer repository. These generated scripts are operational system specific. Bash script is used for Linux and PowerShell is used for Windows. I will execute it on a Linux environment. So, oh, the deployment of the new agent has finished successfully. Let's check it in EFM. We can see the new agent. Now let me show you the deployment in a Windows environment. With this show advanced configuration, you can find plenty of additional parameters that can be fine-tuned if needed. Here you can specify what URL should be used by the deployer script and by the agent to communicate with the EFM. It can be useful if EFM is behind a proxy or a load balancer. By default, EFM will generate an agent ID, but you can define a custom agent ID if you wish. Here you can define the agent's hard waiting period. During agent deployment, wherever it is possible, the agent will be installed as a service. With this service user parameter, you can set which user should execute the MinIFI service on the agent host machine. You can give a custom name for the newly deployed MyNiFi service by the service name parameter. This trust self-signed certificate flag is only needed if you are in an environment where the host of the agent does not trust the EFM's host. Otherwise, this flag is not needed. If you already have a certificate on the agent site, you can configure its location here. In that case, the script and the agent will use that certificate to communicate with EFM. Here you can order overwrite existing or add new properties to the newly deployed agent. The agent has been installed on a Windows system. Let's see it in EFM. That is the new agent. You can see this is a CPP agent. I hope you found this video useful. If you need more details on this new agent deployer feature, you can find it on our documenting page. Thanks for watching.